Okay, so uh, my name is Jack Becker, and um, this is an experiment in uh, making a labyrinth, experiencing a labyrinth, and seeing what the difference is before we walk a labyrinth and after. And uh, in order to do that, uh, we're going to use uh, your words coming out of your mind, writing three words before we go through the labyrinth and then after. And we're going to be able to compare later on what, what kinds of uh, mindset you have before and after, all right? So uh, what I want you to do is, uh, let's see, um, we'll keep our assistants out of the circle for now. This is Marita, Margo, they're helping me. So now I want you to form a circle and let's see how many people we have here. I, I expected 75 people, and so I prepared way up for a big labyrinth project. And now we're down to a very manageable size group. This partly I'm very happy about because we have a limited amount of time to get this done. I'm not going to explain what a labyrinth is. Some of you may already know and some of you don't. But I think the experiment would be a little bit better if we have the opportunity to not figure it out all in advance or set your mind up for what's supposed to happen with a labyrinth or not. Uh, and so we're going to just uh, play it by ear. So first we're going to lay a grid down on the floor, okay, because we can't create our labyrinth without the grid. It'll be clearer later on. The grid is going to be 18 feet by 18 feet. So each pair gets a string, and the idea is each string gets laid down on the floor two feet apart. All right? So it makes sense to you. Basically we're looking at six lines that go one direction and six lines that are going to go the other. It's going to make a giant grid on the floor and you're going to tape your string down to the floor at each end. All right? So let's lay the first string down. Who wants to be the first string there? Okay, here we go. One person takes one end, the other walks as far as they can with the other end. There you go. All right, now we want to square it out to the room. So why don't you start here and just lay it down the floor. That's good. Right there is great. Now, the knot should be inside the tape. So when you put your tape down on it, put it on the outside end, okay? okay. Now, we have tape measures. Maria, do you want to go get the tape measure? Are all the squares handed out? Uh, Marita, can you give your square? To Marita. Marita. There's your square. Good, this is excellent. Now everybody gets tape. Take some tape because what you need is to make on the floor, oh, you're going to need a lot more than that. Probably about 10 feet of tape for each person. So start getting tape. And follow it. Yep, I'm going to give you tape. Now, let me, before you go too far, who else needs tape? Who needs tape? Here we go. We need to make the borders that go all the way around, and they all need to line up nicely. And chat. sensory deprivation experience, okay? And I'm not going to tell you more than that, but it will take a little longer. So if you need a bathroom break at the end of the line, by all means relax, but it will take about a minute per person, okay? 